good evening today's quote is excellence is not a skill it is an attitude excellence is not a skill it's an attitude today's word is admonish to tell somebody firmly that you do not approve of something that he or she has done he was admonished for arriving late at work to strongly advise somebody to do something she admonished the staff to call up the strike in the last lecture we discussed about allied angles what do you mean by allied angles suppose theta is the given angle then angles like minus theta 90 degrees plus minus theta 180 degrees plus minus theta 270 degrees plus minus theta 360 degrees plus minus theta are allied angles of theta that is if sum or difference of two angles is an integral multiple of 90 degrees they are allied angles why are we interested in allied angles suppose we are asked to find sin ratio of 120 degrees now 120 degrees is an allied angle of what 60 degree now i am interested in 60 degree because i know trigonometric ratios for 60 degree now can you tell me what is uh, sin of 180 minus theta basically 180 degree associated with x axis ratio does not change so sin remains sin so it is sin 60 degrees okay now 120 degree lies in which quadrant second quadrant and therefore therefore it is just plus sin theta so can you tell me what is sin 60 degrees yes it is root 3 upon 2 okay now tell me sin of 360 degrees minus x so that you can type easily you have to write the answer in chat box then cos of 270 degrees minus x and tan of 180 degree minus theta type your answer in chat box now sin of 360 minus x 360 associated with x axis ratio remains the same so sin x now 360 minus lies in fourth quadrant in which sin is negative so minus sin x 270 second cosine changes to sin 270 lies in third quadrant rather 270 minus lies in third quadrant in which cosine is negative minus sin x now tan of 180 minus 180 means ratio does not change so tan theta okay now 180 minus in second quadrant in which tangent is negative so minus tan theta okay yes okay you want to write this now exercise 3.2 find the values of start writing sin 690 degrees it is sin of 2 into 360 degrees means 720 degrees minus 30 associated with x axis so ratio remains the same so sin 30 but in which quadrant 690 degrees fourth quadrant so minus sin 30 okay now what is sin 30 half so answer is minus half i hope you are getting this second sin of 495 degree now 495 is what 
360 degree plus 135 degree. Okay. What is sine of 360 plus theta? Sine theta. So sine 135 degree. Now 135 I'm writing as 90 degree plus 45. You may say 180 minus 45, same thing. Final answer will be the same. Now, sine of 90 plus theta is cos theta. And here it is positive. What is cos 45 degree? Cos 45 degree is nothing but 1 upon root 2. So what is the answer? 1 upon root 2. See, this is not at all difficult. You have to remember two simple rules. That's it. Those two rules rule. Third one, cos of 315 degree, cos of 360 degree minus 45 degree. Now 360, so ratio remains the same. So cos 45 degree in which quadrant? In fourth quadrant in which cosine ratio is positive. So cos 45 degree, which is what? 1 upon root 2. Fourth one, cos 600 degree. How will you write cos 600 degree? Basically, it is cos of 360 degree plus 240 degree. That is cos 240 degree. Cos of 360 plus theta, cos theta. Now it is 240 degree. It is 180 degree plus 60 degree. Now cos of 180 plus, so ratio doesn't change. So it is cos 60 degree, but, but 180 plus lies in which quadrant? Third quadrant in which cosine ratio is negative. So it is minus cos 60 degree, which is what? It is nothing but minus half. Now fifth one, tan 225 degree, that is tan of 180 plus 45, what is tan of 180 plus theta? It is nothing but tan theta tan 45 degree, what is tan 45 degree? It is 1. Sixth one, tan of minus 690 degree. Basically, what is tan of minus theta? Minus tan theta. So minus tan 690 degree. You have to be very careful. Now, what is 690? It is basically 2 into 360 degree, that is 720 minus what? 30. See, this is not at all difficult. So, this is minus now tan of 2 into 360 minus 30. So ratio does not change. But this angle lies in which quadrant? It lies in fourth quadrant. So it is minus tan 30 degree. Because in fourth quadrant, tangent ratio is negative. So minus minus plus. So tan 30 degrees. What is tan 30 degrees? It is nothing but 1 upon root 3.
Oh. Sum number seven. Say two forty degrees. That is say one eighty plus sixty. Now one eighty plus sixty. So ratio does not change, but one eighty plus sixty lies in third quadrant, in which secant ratio is negative. So minus sec sixty degree. First, you should remember cos sixty. Cos sixty is half. So sec sixty is two. So final answer is minus two. Now tell me eighth and ninth one. Eight, nine, tenth. Try. Sec minus eight five five degrees. Sec of minus theta is sec theta. Why? Because cos of minus theta is cos theta. Now eight five five is seven twenty. That is two into three sixty plus one thirty five. So it is sec one thirty five. One thirty five you can write as ninety plus forty five or one eighty minus forty five. For one eighty ratio does not change. Angle in second quadrant in which secant ratio is negative. So minus sec forty five degree, which is minus root. So you should know basic formula. Cosec seven eighty degree, cosec seven twenty. That is two into three sixty degree plus sixty, which is cosec sixty degree. That is two by root three. Cot minus one 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 zero degree. So it is minus cot one 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 zero degree. Why cot of minus theta is minus cot theta. Now triple one zero is one zero eight zero. That is three times three sixty degree plus thirty degree. Now three complete rotations and then thirty, so it is just cot thirty degree. But initially it is minus, so minus. Now tan thirty degree one by root three, so it is cot thirty degree two. So this is the final answer. Second question: Prove the following. First part: Cos of pi plus x into cos of minus x upon sine of pi minus x into cos of pi by two plus x equal to cot square x. Now, cos of pi plus x is what? Minus cos x. Cos of minus x, cos x. Sine of pi minus x, sine x. And cos of pi by two plus x is minus sine x. So minus cos square upon sine uh, minus sine square rather is nothing but cot square. Simple. We'll be doing second, first, second, and then directly fifth one. Now begin with LHS. Uh, you write that step. Then what is cos of three pi by two plus x? Ratio changes. Fourth quadrant cosine positive, so sine x. Please do not write in this fashion. Don't get marks for that. What is cos of two pi plus x? Cos x simple into cot of three pi by two minus x. Now cot three pi by two minus x. Three pi by two ratio changes. Cot changes to tan third quadrant positive cotangent ratio. So this is simply tan x. And last one cot of two pi plus x is nothing but cot x. Co-terminal angles have the same trigo ratio. So, write down sine x cos x. What is tan x? It is nothing but sine x upon cos x. And what is cot x? Cos x upon sine x. So this is. Sin x into cos x. What is LCM here? Cos x into sin x. And what will be the numerator? Sin square x plus cos square x. Now this sin x cos x gets cancelled. What is sin square pl uh, x plus cos square x? It is one. Which is nothing but right hand side, right now. 
now fifth one first uh, i have obtained this part sin of pi plus x sec of pi minus x and so on then uh, what is uh, left hand side it is actually sin cube of pi plus x into sec square pi minus x into tan of 2 pi minus x upon cos square pi by 2 plus x into sin of pi minus x into cos x square minus x okay now uh, substitute the values to get what see minus sin x bracket cube which is nothing but minus sin cube x and so on i have written all the values say x square x minus tan x sin square x sin x cos x square x now minus minus plus so finally it is going to be plus sin cube gets cancelled with this see this sin cube gets cancelled with sin square into sin sin cube so tan into what is 1 upon cos x square sin square and what is sec square 1 upon cos square so this tan square okay into tan it is nothing but tan cube so this is right hand side now the next important part is trigonometric functions of multiple angles the angles of the form 2 theta 3 theta 4 theta etc are called multiple angles and angles of the form theta by 2 3 theta by 2 etc are called sub multiple angles of theta we now derive expressions for the trigonometric functions of multiple and sub multiple angles in terms of those of theta now first part trigonometric functions of double angles that is 2 theta uh, i'm going to write the proofs for this for any angle theta sin 2 theta is what 2 sin theta cos theta i hope you won't say take these two outside a sign please don't do that scene uh, right sin 2 theta is not 2 sin theta it is 2 sin theta cos theta what is cos 2 theta actually cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta 1 minus 2 sin square theta 2 cos square theta minus 1 and tan 2 theta is 2 tan theta upon 1 minus tan square theta remember to prove these results you should know sin of alpha plus beta cos of alpha plus beta and tan of alpha plus beta now i'll explain the proof sin 2 theta now can i write 2 theta as theta plus theta yes i can what is sin of alpha plus beta sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta now each angle is theta so it is simply 2 sin theta cos theta this result is very very important so how to remember this sin of 2 times any angle is 2 sin of that angle into cosine of that angle now next part is interesting can i write 2 sin theta cos theta as 2 sin theta cos theta upon 1 yes i can can i replace this 1 by cos square theta plus sin square theta i can now divide numerator and denominator by cos square theta so numerator becomes what 2 sin theta cos theta upon cos square only one cos gets cancelled so what remains is 2 sin theta upon cos theta which is nothing but 2 tan theta what about denominator cos square upon cos square it is nothing but 1 plus what is sin square upon cos square it is nothing but tan square theta so 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is that clear so you have to remember both the forms especially this one sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta and 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta suppose suppose we are asked to apply the formula on sin 11 theta can we apply that yes see sin 11 theta is sin of 2 times which angle 11 theta upon 2 and sin of 2 times any angle is 2 sin of that angle 
into cosine of that angle i hope this is clear to you see sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta now it is 11 theta it is two times 11 theta upon 2 so sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta is that clear yes now second cos 2 theta same logic 2 theta is theta plus theta what is cos of alpha plus beta cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta so this is the original formula main formula so it is cos 2 theta cos square theta minus sin square theta you have to be careful cos square plus sin square is 1 but cos square theta minus sin square theta is what cos 2 theta suppose we want answer in terms of cos only is it possible yes how sin square theta is to be written as 1 minus cos square theta so cos square theta minus 1 open the bracket plus cos square theta so effectively it is what it is 2 cos square theta minus 1 okay so how to remember this cos of 2 times any angle is 2 cos square of that angle minus 1 suppose we want answer entirely in terms of sin is it possible yes it is possible so for that i write cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta the many students they do not use bracket and then they blame trigonometry it is difficult and all that no these basics are important so 2 into in bracket because when you open the bracket it is 2 minus 2 sin square theta minus 1 as it is now it is nothing but 1 minus 2 sin square theta is that clear so we began with cos 2 theta see the cursor this is the original cos square minus sin square then this is entirely in terms of cos this is entirely in terms of sin now can we obtain formula entirely in terms of tan yes it is possible what is the original formula for cos 2 theta cos square theta minus sin square theta see i'm talking about this see cos square minus sin square right what about denominator denominator is 1 can i write this 1 as uh, cos square theta plus sin square theta yes i can now divide numerator and denominator by cos square theta to get 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square okay so we have expressed cos 2 theta entirely in terms of tan okay now third part tan 2 theta what is 2 theta same logic theta plus theta what is tan of alpha plus beta it is tan alpha plus tan beta upon 1 minus tan alpha into tan beta okay so this is nothing but 2 tan theta upon 1 minus tan square theta this is formula for what tan 2 theta okay now trigonometric ratios of 3 theta first is sin 3 theta 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta what is cos 3 theta 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta what is tan 3 theta 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta we will prove all these results sin 3 theta 3 theta is what 2 theta plus theta what is sin of alpha plus beta use that sin alpha 
cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta. Now we want answer in terms of sin only, right? What is sin two theta? It is two sin theta cos theta. You can use this directly. Plus, actually, there are four different forms for cos two theta. I will be using one minus two sin square theta. Reason I want answer in terms of sin only. This is nothing but two. Let me explain. What is cos 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 square? So I write this as two sin theta. For that cos square, I am going to write one minus sin square. Reason I want answer entirely in terms of sin. Open the bracket. One into sin is sin. Minus two sin square into sin is minus two sin cube. Okay. Now again open the bracket. So this is two sin theta minus two sin cube theta plus sin theta minus two sin cube theta, and therefore finally, what is sin three theta? It is three sin theta minus two minus two minus two minus four. Minus four sine cube theta. This is not at all difficult. But to prove sine three theta, you have to use formula for sine two theta and cos two theta. Now second, cos three theta. Three theta is two theta plus theta. Cos of alpha plus beta is used. Now we want answer entirely in terms of cos. So it is cos two theta. It is Two cos square theta minus one into cos theta minus what is sine two theta? Two sine theta cos theta into original sine theta as it is. Next step, open the bracket in the first case. So it is two cos cube theta minus cos theta minus two sine 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 square. But what is sine square? One minus cos square. So one minus cos square theta into cos theta. Okay. So this is two cos cube theta minus cos theta minus two cos theta plus two cos cube theta. You have to again open the brackets. So finally, what is Cos three theta, it is nothing but four cos cube theta minus three cos theta. Now tan three theta, again tan of two theta plus theta, tan of alpha plus beta, tan alpha plus tan beta upon one minus tan alpha tan beta. But we have already proved that tan two theta is what. Two tan theta upon one minus tan square theta. Now see the next step. I am multiplying each term by one minus tan square theta. So it is what two tan theta. See uh, if you do not understand this, don't blame trigonometry. These are the basic things. We can multiply numerator and denominator by the same non-zero number. So I have multiplied, rather I am multiplying each term by one minus tan square. So it is just two tan plus tan into this. Now you have to multiply this one also by one minus tan square. So one minus tan square. Okay. Here one minus tan square gets cancelled. So minus two tan into tan. So minus two tan square. This is not at all difficult. Next step. So this is what two tan theta. You have to open the bracket plus tan theta. Minus tan tan square that is tan cube theta upon one minus three tan square theta. Okay, and therefore, what is tan three theta? Tan three theta is now three tan theta minus tan cube theta upon one minus 
3 tan square. Is that clear? So that's it for today.